Okay, this um, second video I'm creating for you is just um, to show you how to edit your site um, easily. So again, you've got the username and password details that I've emailed to you. So you just, um, oh, I don't need to take you to dashboard. We'll just go back to where the site was. Should have the um, option in the top bar to edit the page, but I'll soon see. And my Wi Fi is a bit slow, I think um, it's overloaded um, all around Sydney. Everyone must be on the internet tonight. So, edit front page, you click onto that. And the dashboard comes up, but this time with all the home page elements. Um, so it's scrolling. Now you can see it coming up here. So the header is done in code block, and I'd highly recommend not to touch that at all. But if you want to edit any of the other text on the page, just um, scroll over the chosen panel. In this case, we'll start with referral consultation. Click on this icon and uh, this pop-up comes up and it shows you the content that's here so make the change that you'd like so if you want this session to be $75 with a 00, zero uh, press save and you'll see it there but it's also very important to publish it so click on the blue button that says update and you'll find that the 00, zero will be visible when it's live but I'll show you through the rest of the page and I'll actually get you to make that change back um, Chrissy so um, this is $100 uh, again just uh, click onto there uh, that's your video so you just click onto the text there and the text block comes up here so you can then make a change element preview okay so it's giving you preview options now so you can see how it's all shaping up so that's the information in there and I'll let you work that save it and then publish it remember to do that and um, just click on that cross to escape same here just click onto that to make any text changes on the um, text you'll see here which is over the um, I'll go to into text and you'll see it there so just change the wording between these tags try not to interfere with the tags otherwise you'll damage the way it looks um, if you want to make any changes on the uh, white text over the snow image the snow video then uh, same here you can make the edits here and the edits here all as I've shown you see the icons there everywhere so I'll let you organize the changes that you'd like to make and that's the big panel so again you go into here it's a bit hard to make this change because it's all in black but again I would go to text remember not to affect these kind of kinds of tags only work the text area you can see it here and then save it'll preview and then when you just remember to uh, to update it so I'll click on update and To view the home page, I'll just go um, back to the URL and you'll see the information here and here you'll see the $75.00 so I'll let you make that change and when you go into blog um, it's much the same you come onto this page here, you can edit this page actually it's probably best not to edit this page um, just go into each blog and then edit post and the text is here so you can just make the edits that you need 
One thing I do recommend is, um, let's say you want to put a hyperlink into the um, copy and I would recommend at least uh, one or two hyperlinks um, on the page. So if we go to the keyword for this one, which is OCD specialist near me, so um, it might be worthwhile to write in, uh, here we go, OCD specialist near you, that's okay, that's good enough. And then we'll bring up the site again. And then you'll find another blog that's relevant. So this one's good. It's got therapist in it. So we'll take that URL, copy it, go back to this one here. And then we make a hyperlink. So we go to this chain, insert the link, go to the cog. Always make sure you click onto this box, which is open link in a new tab. That's the text that we're linking. Update, and you'll see it in purple there and underlined. Always update to publish. And the other way to view the blog is click on this link here, which is a permalink. And you will see OCD specialist near me. It hasn't um, changed color, but the hyperlink is there. So if a reader goes through it and it sees the hand, they're likely to click on it, which will then take them to another blog of yours, Therapy for OCD, that is also relevant. So um, that's how easy it is to edit your blogs. We'll go back into edit post. And it brings us into the dashboard. So this is where your posts are. If you, so if you go into all post and um, add new, this is how you add a new post. So you put in the title here, you put in the um, new content in here. Always make sure you fill the title tag and meta description out. So just copy what I've done before, but you're writing now blogs around the questions your clients are asking you. So put that question in, hopefully something short. It's likely to be searched for on um, the search engines. And um, with those particular questions and the article that you write about it, also do another video because it will boost the performance and ranking of your site. I would recommend you do a blog post. Um, so we'll just put here new blog post and your new co content would go here. So when you, let's go back to this one here. Oh, no, we'll go to edit post on that one. And I've added um, the YouTube video. So you go to text and um, this is the, video, the code that I got from YouTube and I've written um, center to center the video. So when you pick up the code from YouTube, always go to text and then you paste the um, YouTube video that won't have center tags. It'll just be like this. But when you go to visual, you'll see that it's left aligned. Oh, it could work if you just center it. No, it doesn't really do that. So I always write in the um, the center tags, which is pretty easy. So again, just follow what I've done here. And then um, you close it with a forward slash before the C and visual, and you'll find that your video will be um, centered. Now, what I'll do is Uh -huh. What we do here is you click OCD and Obsessive Compulsive Disorder and whatever the question may be, um, so let's say I uh, want to know more about OCD. Let's say that's 
the keyword or whatever the question is that they're asking you. The heading goes here. Um, go to text. Always make it. Always make the heading um, a head one for your blog posts, and then the second heading um, head two, and again it's meant to be lowercase um, h and lowercase h and always make sure the second heading is head 2 it will just automatically default so that's what head 1 looks like your normal content you don't want to be any head you just want it to be normal text as it is so again want to know more about OCD just put it into here and into here and then a description uh, visit this page to watch the video and find out more from Chrissy Hodges so that way there's a call to action And um, I will leave it as that. These always must be filled. So OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder are the categories. Uh, we'll use the same question into here because it's likely to be searched on Google. Uh, to remove it, click on the cross, but we'll add it. In this instance, we'll add it. Add. And then publish. So publish makes it live. I haven't put in a uh, featured image, so usually I do a screen grab of the video, turn it into a JPEG, upload it to your ad media, and then upload files, select, and that will allow you to select. Um, so I'll use my gang gang cockatoos. I'll open. Uh, when you add images in here, you'll find. I'll always make sure you fill in the alt text. So in your instance, treating OCD, treating OCD. That helps with the SERPs. Um, so I've clicked onto that image, featured image, featured image, set featured image. So that then sets the featured image for this post. So there it is, the gang gangs, which are Australian native cockatoos. I'll update to publish it. And that way then we'll go back to the site. And we'll go to blog. And there's your new post. It automatically um, comes up. So um, you can click on the image. And there's the video. And that's where you write the content. Um, and always make sure the content's about five to 600 words. Always more, never less. Google loves more content. You're giving more valuable information. So it's up to you to now update your site and uh, each blog post will be considered as a page by Google and you want to continue to build it up regularly. So I do recommend um, writing up to two blog posts a month or even once a week, but I'll leave that to you for now. Um, so that way you build up a good amount of pages in your website and you become an authority for OCD. Now, because this is the post with the pictures of the gang gangs, I would recommend going into um, edit and I'm going to place it on private and OK. So that way it's not visible and then update. So when we go back to the site, and then go into blog. Ah, it's visible because we're logged in. I'll go to the, the, the Chrome browser and um, bring up your 
website. Oh, ignore that. It's just automatically defaulted to HTTPS. So treatment for OCD. Go to blog. So I'm not logged in on this Chrome browser. And you can't see the Gang Gang Cockatoos. So it's set up as private. And that's the beauty of setting up as private because um, the public does not see that. But you do see it when you do log in. And you know you're logged in because of this black panel up there, up here. So anyway, I hope you found this uh, video useful. And um, good luck with um, adding the blog posts and um, you know all the fields to fill. And um, remember to focus on listening on what your clients are asking you. For, um, they will present to you the phrases that uh, will be um, searched for quite, quite frequently by the public, especially the ones suffering from OCD, and they recognize that they are. So I wish you well, Chrissy. I know you're going to do fantastically well. And uh, this website will help you heaps. And um, I will monitor it for you and make sure that you become visible over and above your competition that's out there. So I'm going to log out of your website now and uh, finish off this video. So thanks for watching.